What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy Kevin to turn on this motherfucking YouTube shit. What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy. Can't y'all read your shit? Hey man, say man, we are. Little A. Little T man. Turn, 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 turn. Say, motherfucking day. So you're not like Korea. Yes, sir. Hey man, say man, we out here. Gang, 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 gang. Hey man, say man. Hope y'all been enjoying these videos, man. Um. Free Palestine, free Congo, Russia do your thing, and Texas fix these borders up, man. Amen, say, man. Amen. Thank Yahweh for another day, man. We out here, man. Hey, we out here on alert, man. Gang, gang. They might try to stop you, boy. They might try to slow your boy now. But we always know. Hey, man. God is with us, man. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to always fight. You know what I'm saying? Amen, say, man. Um, that's black Hebrew. It's like we know the truth, man. Y'all can't stop the truth, man. We're going to always fight back for what we believe in, gang. So, hey, man, come to the black Hebrew is like, man. We're going to keep on fighting, man. Um, we're going to let people know what the truth is and let them know, y'all, hey, y'all wrong. And, yeah, in this bit, all right? Boom. Today, it's a motherfucking day. Check your hand outside crib, man. All right, gang, 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 gang. So, this is wild, man. Um, Charleston White versus Gilly the Kid. Now, um, people really look, like watching Charleston White. You know what I'm saying? People been wanting me to react to Charleston White for the longest, so I've been starting to react to Charleston White. Um, this is wild. You know, they got beef, man. Y'all know that um, Gilly the Kid's son was had passed away, blamed on, uh, I think like last year. Uh, everybody was shocked. But a lot of people trying to say it was a sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? Which, now we look at it, it makes sense because how it all went down and, you know, getting in that check, everything. So, Charleston White, you know, he's a big media personality, but, you know, he he had to go online to my, he be snitching and the popos and all this shit, how he worked for him and all this crazy shit. So, Gilly... I guess he called him a snitch or some shit. And it Charleston just blew the fuck up. And um he going at Gilly about the situation and he talking about um his son, Young Cheese. Talking about how he rolled him up in the blunt. You know what I'm saying? Talking about how he's smoking on um How you talking about he's smoking on Young Cheese and shit, man? You know, the situation is, man, we do, we lose, we lose a lot of young black life, you know what I'm saying, that sometimes, man, a lot of times, they don't deserve to lose their lives, you know what I'm saying? They get put into some situation, man, where they might try to be like their dad or some shit, or they want to be gangster, or, and shit comes up and it ends up to where they get blamed on. You know, it's all, it's all, that's what, that's what happened in the hood and, and wars and all types of shit, you know what I'm saying? Niggas be dying. So, I guess Guinea thought that he, he was good. He could just talk on, um, Charleston White. Charles White coming back with the combos, talking about all types of shit, talking about he smoking his dead ox, so he should have, he's not a gangster, talking about his son was a goofy, a goofy rapper and shit, and, and Charles White responded a little bit. But you know, you, you know how these motherfuckers try to be these days. They're just trying to flex off the materialistic shit and, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm doing better than you and shit. But it's like, bro, it's like, damn, man, he really did lose his son, man, to some gun violence in his own city. But like I said, man, it could have been on some sacrifice shit. So this is what really uh, Charles the White been speaking on. He goes he goes on his own platform and he say what's up to it. He even called his son in this video. And he talked about, um, I don't say cheese. One thing that I don't agree with him about is, man, Yahweh is real. God is real, man. Um, we all got choices and stuff. And at the end of the day, people don't, 
people might not see what people go through, but like I said, man, it's always gonna be heaven and hell. You know what I'm saying? So it's always gonna be, it's always gonna be like two different, like you feel what I'm saying? So at the end of that, man, I want y'all to uh, look at this video, man. I hope y'all enjoy this video and and, and 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 see what's going on, man. And, and yeah. Hey man, stay man. This shit, this shit getting crazy, bro. I'm checking bro. out all urban central. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna call my son. You got to go to the graveyard to see yourself. Damn, say, I'm say, on, why he so mad at Gilly? I, I say, Gilly, look, Gilly. Say, look, this is what my kids give me for Paul today. Uh, Gilly. Say, Damn. Gilly, say, cash money. Y'all know this Gilly's son is dead, say, right? Cash money backup singer. I'm sorry, backup dancer. Say, listen. I'm finna call my boy, cause you can't call yours. Damn! Oh, I miss my son. I don't miss my, I finna call mine right now. Hold on, let me call my son. Cause I finna do this, cause Gilly can't call here. Damn! Hell, this nigga said me ho. Okay, I'll just call and talk to you. I'll talk to you later. Uh, I gotta go pick up my merchandise out of Houston today. Oh, uh, okay. So you can go out of town? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll be back this evening. Is your car, your uh, mom ready to finish with your car yet? Uh, oh, okay. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Alright, well, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Alright, love you. Alright, love you too. Alright. Okay. This shit is getting crazy, bro. <laughs> Say, get it. You wouldn't you want to hear your son, boy, I just one more time. You too busy trying to play street and gangster. I remember how you and Wallow were crying. You and Wallow were crying. Oh, my son. Oh, my son. I can't. Oh, you were crying. Damn. Talking about snitching. You goddamn right I'm a law-abiding citizen. That's why your son unalive. This is Gilly. I guess, I guess she, she do everything right. She graduated college. You know what I mean? That's mine. Yeah. And that's hers. Talk to me. 2022. Yeah. <laughs> Don't run. Don't sound like God. Yeah. 2022 puppy, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's daddy. This is crazy, nigga. Hey, man, stay, man. Y'all yeah, stay woke so out here, nigga. Stay woke. Yeah, this is wild. Come on, open these doors. Double sunroof me. Yeah, that's my grandson right here. Come on with you. Yeah, that's my grand. Yeah, you look, look at the eyes. Yeah, pop, pop, got you, boy. Love you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my baby, you know what I mean? My baby. You know what I mean? Get my baby right, man. You know what I mean? Look at her back there. She had me. <laughs> no way. Nigga Lamborghini yesterday, 63 bands today. You know what I mean? This shit getting wild. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, get in, man. Don't touch that, man. You don't like you. You Ooh, what's that you play? Gangstar. Only listen to classic hip hop in here. Oh. Uh. You don't listen to classic hip hop, but you got all the rappers on your on your show. Like what? <laughs> Can't be eating no veggie burger with no extra ketchup all in the lamb, dog. <laughs> think this thing, extra mayo too? Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, man. You know this ain't mine. You wouldn't be eating my shit. I definitely ain't going down. Back. Ain't gonna crack a crack a veggie burger with extra. Extra mayonnaise, extra mayonnaise, ketchup, and mustard out in the lamb. 
Definitely. <laughs> this shit getting wild. Man, you can't be. Nobody been the day, but ain't been no get back. The niggas who killed your boy still living, breathing, fucking coming, farting, sneezing. That's wild. And going to bed and waking up living life, nigga. And you still in agony. Unless you made the sacrifice. Unless you did the motherfucking sacrifice, nigga. You hear me? Unless you the one put the hit on your son. Damn. So you get that hundred million dollars. I ain't sacrificing my boy for Facts. I don't want that much money no way. I don't want that much goddamn money. You no don't way. need it. Well, you, we got to kill nephew and son. I don't know who I deal with it for you to sacrifice your son. You should have sacrificed the bitch, nigga. What and they talking about? The and kept the boy. What they talking about? Bitch, nigga, and kept your son, but because you wanna be an Illuminati. See, I got some cousins. I'm gonna put the hell, nigga. I'm gonna put the, put the head on. Oh I hell no! Nah. But you put your boy up, nigga, and you a riding hearted motherfucker because of that. And I, ain't, I tried to show you some sympathy when they killed that bitch. I'm sorry when they killed your son, when they killed Junior, Cheese, whatever the little punk ass motherfucker name is. Whenever they killed your boy. Whenever they kill the boy, I tried to show you a little sympathy. Cause I thought that's what God want. But I'm in a fuck God mode right now. Nigga, fuck that God oh, talk. That shit ain't real though. I didn't do that shit to appease mama. But nigga, I don't believe that God shit, nigga. Now God is real though. Yeah, yeah, they got me. Yeah, they got me suspended on live. Could I been playing with this bitch ass nigga? This bitch ass rapping nigga. Boosie got a pussy. Yeah, yeah, Boosie sacrificed a uh, uh, male and trail and all them niggas, nigga. Oh, nothing. Oh, chill. So that's, that's all I'm saying, nigga. Oh, hold on, let me put it this way. Yeah, Gilly, and I don't give a fuck about your son. And I saw you were crying, all you niggas wouldn't put them dresses on to bury the boy. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? We don't, nigga. We from the south, nigga. Like, we yeah, yeah, nigga. We church out there, nigga. We don't. We saw, nigga. Yeah, nigga. We're trying to get in with us. Talk to my first. Shit, there we go. I do think I think I do think it was some sacrificing to his son though. Now I remember when y'all came out because your son rap music wasn't doing too good, right? And y'all tried to shank pop on Y'all tried to shank pop on him. Pop on testified on the murder when he was 14 years old because his mama made him go down there and say, hey son, tell him what you saw when your friend got murdered. You tried to shame that kid. Now look what happened. He heard the son get in now look at you. Y'all need some snitches. Y'all need some motherfucking snitches. And because you ain't got no snitches, guess what? Your motherfucking dead boy murder can't get solved. Uh, uh, boy murder. Now your dead boy murder can't get solved. Man, and it who you got a dead son. And it's unnatural for a parent to have to bury their child. You 
got some pain that I'm glad I ain't got. Better your son than my son. My son happy with his own play job, his own motherfucking car, and trying to get him another motherfucking job that's paying better than the job he got. Your son ain't no telling where that motherfucker is. <laughs> One thing we know, he ain't on her. His motherfucking ass got her on top of his ass. And guess what? It's his ass that was in there on top of his ass. Boy. I like being a goofy. I want to be a goofy. I got rich being a goofy in my father. I couldn't be a goofy when I was in my 20s because I was playing pimp, nigga. I get to see dope in there. I get to be a goofy. It's fun being a goofy. I'm sending out shows. I've been dissing you bitch ass niggas so much, nigga. I've been disrespectful to the crypt niggas, the blood niggas. Every nigga y'all niggas scared of, I've been disrespectful to the rapping niggas. And guess what? I ain't been touched yet, nigga. I'm touched. Nah, nah, nah. He done got touched you before. He done got touched before. If anybody remember that, when he got jumped. You got damn right I'm going to call the police. I'm going to get a description of the vehicle. Not only am I going to get a description of the vehicle, I'm going to show up in court. Not only am I going to show up in court, I'm going to stay here. To connect with direct communication with the prosecutors and the district attorney's office. Not only that, I'm going to join the victim's compensation and the victim's impact. You're lying to me, nigga. I'm going to ruin your motherfucking life. Not only am I going to press criminal charges. He said you ain't fooling nobody. You scared of Boosie. Brown and the cold brown system. What's that boy named Ron Goldman in the cold brown system? What they family did to OJ? I'm on civil suit your motherfucking ass because all you need is a civil suit is a preponderance of evidence. Charles, all I said, don't get caught laughing, man.
That's wild. That's wild. Oh, he called Charleston White a snitch. Thought you was untouchable. Coming soon. No karma. Don't tell me about no motherfucking karma. Karma ain't real. Death is real. Fuck is you talking about? It? I ain't nigga. I don't respect death. I let the dead bury the dead. I respect the living. But if the living disrespect me, I disrespect they dead love more. Cause I ain't got no respect for the dead. Fuck the dead, nigga. Well, fuck about no, no motherfucking dead. I care about my neighbor. You talking about you nigga love the dead, but disrespect your baby mama. You nigga love the dead, but disrespect your neighbor. Fuck the dead. That goes for say Chitty Cheese or whatever killing son name is. If his mama dead, fuck his mama. If his mama dead, fuck his mama. Watch it. Let me put me in the goddamn food. That's what they do. <laughs> Boy, they need to hurry up with me and throw my move. is fake. Muslim not real. 
Muslim, Muslim, not real. Muslim, not real. That stuff is not real. You nigga was looking like some hobo when that boy got killed. Fast forward, not even a year later, he back talking street. Where did my son got killed? I'm with this. I'm with killing. I'm with killing. I'm with everything to refine justice and retribution for my boy. I'm with everything to refine justice and retribution for my boy. I'm not standing on no motherfucking cold just a lot. The only God that's real is oh, Yahweh, the one in the Bible. Tupac, what you did for rape? Kobe Bryant, accused of rape. Lawrence Taylor was caught with a teenage prostitute fucking on her with a black eye. Uh, T.I. and Kane been accused with the L.A. prosecutors, the Atlanta prosecutors. They got over 24 women that accused them of rape, uh, drug, and all kind of shit. And y'all love it. Watch Charleston White. This nigga be yapping. Rape. I'm looking at kidnapping. And that's what Pimp C 
This shit been dog over here. I come talking like the rappers and I'm wrong. Now I'm on the smoke on Gilly Son, but y'all love dirt for smoking on Tuka. I'm gonna smoke on Gilly Son today. I'm gonna smoke cheese ass up. I'm gonna smoke that bitch. I'm gonna roll that little pretty bitch up and put him in that sweet love and smoke his little sweet ass. Cause his daddy think he'll actually. Damn. Cause his daddy think he'll actually. 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 Cause his daddy think he'll Talking about no snitch and no rat, and he got a hundred million motherfucking dollars. It's like he don't want nobody to tell on his son, cause he ain't gonna kill the nigga to kill your son. He ain't put the money down off in the streets to have them niggas bound, nigga. And Wallow going to the White House trying to petition for laws, and you talking about no snitching, nigga. You nigga look like two oxymorons, pinky in a stupid frame. Wallow going to D.C. trying to push laws and legislation for prison reform, but you talking about no snitching and rat, and you ain't even got no paper. Let me get one of these switches and roll your bitch ass son up. I'm going to roll your motherfucking son up, and you ain't got no paperwork, nigga. Ain't nobody going to do nothing to me for picking on this bitch ass nigga. Nigga, I'm picking on a wrong motherfucking man. He's scared to fight his own battle. He's scared to go to jail for me crash. I bet he won't crash out over what I'm saying about this bitch ass son, nigga. Don't make me dig your son up and lay my dick on his skull, nigga. Don't make me dig your son up, Gilly, and lay my dick on his skull, nigga, and make you go to jail. I know how to get you to go to jail, nigga. Nigga, put that dick on that tombstone and take a picture. Lay that dick across that tombstone and take a picture, nigga. Pick on your son, nigga. I got him thinking with my dick on his mind. Dead motherfucker. Oh, I get ugly with these words. Oh, I'm making it, oh, I kill that nigga when he sees me. I'm making a nigga say fuck everything. I'm gonna throw my life away. But what? I'll whoop you with my word, you bitch ass nigga. You ain't got no paperwork on me. <laughs> ah, ah, and you don't want to go do all that time like Wallow. I don't want Wallow have to come see you like you were going to go see him, nigga. You ain't that bad, nigga. Ghost right now, nigga. Sideline dancing ass, nigga. Can't get in the game. Cash money ass, boy. Put me in, baby. Don't go over there right, nigga. Put me. You couldn't get in, nigga. You couldn't get in, cash money. Right up. Don't see your name on no credits, nigga. <laughs> Lil Wayne took all your material. Get it, nigga. And you couldn't do nothing about it. Sit down somewhere, baby, tell you. Now you want to get over there and talk loud with Wallow, because Wallow to come home from prison. Wallow still Islam not real. No <laughs> one is real as Yahweh, God from the Bible. <laughs>
I'm gonna get paid from the victim impact compensation. Got there right, I'm gonna fill out that application. Victim compact implementation, compensation. They pay like a little bit. So listen, I appreciate y'all for tuning in and tapping in. It's the only way I get my words. Now they got my, they got me blocked online where I can't go. All you bitch ass niggas get out of all you industry niggas, all you whole ass industry niggas, all you whole ass niggas can line up. I ain't worried about my son. My son been shooting ARs and he's a little bitty boy. My son been shooting ARs and he's a little bitty boy. And he got it on. He ain't up under his daddy. My boy's strong. My boy and I already stabbed a nigga. They stabbed a grown man when he was 15 to beat the case. So my boy know what to do. My boy know what to do. My boy stabbed the wrong man when he was 15. They had to call me. They had to come back to the police car. He just stabbed her dad. He did what? Stabbed my daddy. For what? My daddy was jumping on my mama and trying to jump on CJ. And my son stabbed him while I talked. So we ain't worried about nothing. That's why I travel with no security, nigga. That's why I went to, I went to Philly with no security. Ask Big Reed. Ask Big Reed, nigga. I rode through Philly with no security, nigga. You niggas ain't that bad. You niggas ain't never fuck white folks in Philly, nigga. So sit your bitch ass down somewhere, nigga. You niggas kill niggas. You niggas ain't never fuck the police. And y'all ain't never fuck white folks. How y'all bad, nigga? Nigga, I went to jail for killing the white man. Nigga, I'm bad as a motherfucker. And I brag about racist white folks. Nigga, I'm bad as a motherfucker. You niggas don't talk about nothing to do with white folks, nigga. How you niggas mad? How? Okay. You niggas ain't never fuck. White people, shut y'all, bitch ass. Hey, hey, okay, okay, we get that. Cause motherfuckers don't, they, they love going to each other, but they don't want to go after the white man. Fuck the white man. And white people. Cause I know that'll have you on the jump out the window when I take that picture and send it to your inbox. And they got your son tombstone right there. They go, you don't matter, you ain't, you gonna snitch on them because they're trying to put me in jail for this great, a great. But I'm gonna lay that dick on that boy's mind. Why he did? See if I can resuscitate that son of a bitch. Cause I said, I know what that, that, that dick will make a motherfucker raise up. Hey, that bitch will make a motherfucker dick on me. He'll make a motherfucker jump up. Hey, nah, I won't do that, bro. <laughs> so let's see if we bring the boy back to life, nigga. And this is some of the most disrespectful shit that you can say to a man. And I'm intentionally saying it to you, bitch ass nigga. Intentional. Yeah. Oh, yeah, nigga, I've been waiting, I've been waiting for this. Oh, I've been waiting for this, nigga. Oh, I've been waiting for you, Obama, nigga. I've been waiting to bump in for one of you, bitch. One of you, nigga. But not Obama. But I don't, it didn't matter. It didn't matter, because I know you can be proud, nigga. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm going real far with you. Uh, and I pack knives, I pack mace, and I pack guns. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay, pack. I pack knives, I pack mace, and I pack guns, and I ain't with no religion. So I don't play about no rule. I call the police, and I allow the nigga. And yeah, and I allow the nigga. Get up, bitch. Ah, yeah, I got him tuned in. Look, the number's going up. Uh, I know how to go buy one. I done took two million a day off. You can see videos. I know how to go viral and get that algorithm. I know how to call the company the algorithm. And I mean every goddamn word I see from the bottom of my heart. And that's on the phone bill. I put that on Mohammed. I put that on my life, Jesus. So yeah, I don't look on everything. On every motherfucker. You gon' die. We all gon' die. One thing about it, everybody gon' die. Death don't scare me. Life in prison scare me. Death don't scare me. Life in prison scared me. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that, that's the only thing that scared me, nigga. A long time in jail. That's why I tell, nigga. I ain't scared to die. Because death ain't got no pain in it. Death ain't got no agony, nigga. Yes, it does. Death is a, it's a real freedom. 
If you go to hell. If you go to hell, it's gonna be pain. Pain for a lifetime. So you are you should you should be you should be scared of hell. What are we talking about? He should be scared of hell, cause once you go to hell, ain't no comeback. That's it. Internal bitch. Oh man, here we go, man. I had to bring him back. He's the talk of social media as usual. He he's the algorithm king, the YouTube guy, social media guy. He didn't crack the Da Vinci Code. Charleston White, man, he's back. What's up, man? Yeah, yeah, the the, the new nigga kid on the comedy block. Yeah, yeah, I'm a, yeah, I'm officially uh, yeah, my career as a stand up comedian now. After all these years of working together, I've never seen so many people mad at you as they are right now. Oh, they here right now? Every interview I've done, your name comes up. Every every barbecue, Easter just passed, your name was all the old heads at during Easter uh, was bringing you up. Your name's everywhere right now. Oh, they, oh, they, oh, uh, for what? What I done done this time? Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I done done so much. I mean, of course, the, the Gilly situation, man. A lot of people, you know, a lot of people love you, but it was just, it was, this is that one thing where people just don't agree with you. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, they they agree with King Von. They agree with Dirk. Uh, I, they agree with Julio Fulio. Uh, I remember I, I talked to uh Bibby's dad. Uh, I've talked to Tuka's mom. Uh, I man, they way they done FBG Ducks, Mama Mama Duck. So why is it that they so mad about Gilly's son? And he was a grown kid, talking gangster and playing gangster. So it's only two outcomes of this life, right? So why they so mad now? When it, we watch drill music evolve and erupt. And, and if I'm not mistaken, uh, Chief Keith's new song is, is dissing Tuka. Oh, one of Chief Keith's new song is dissing Tuka. Yep. So, yep. so here we go again. I'm making... Everybody look like a hypocrite, but because Gilly is one of their favorite celebrities, it's easy to feel sorry. I can say he probably is because he's he in the industry. Me. And I'm telling everybody who mad at me, suck my d that nigga son. Give a f about that nigga son. That nigga son was playing gangster, and gangsters get go to jail. And when gangsters go to jail, I don't cry. And I don't have no respect for the dead, homie. I don't have no respect for the dead. I have respect for my neighbor. I I honor my mother and my father. I love my brother. I pray for my enemies. That I yeah nah nigga, but I don't give a damn about the dead. When I go to the graveyard, I walk on top of the tombstone. Yeah, I spit on the grave. Yeah, nigga, I don't give a damn about the dead. Y'all do. I respect the living. So I'm saying to all y'all people, how can y'all have so much respect and honor for the dead, but not honor your mother and your fathers? So, nigga, I don't give a damn who mad. I done said worse before. And I'm going to say worse again. Did this Gilly, Charleston White, back and forth, did it start with the Pop Hunter situation? Yep. Mm. That's where all this started so the from. the Pop Hunter situation. Because I didn't know who Gilly the King was. I just saw the Pop Hunter situation. We done that interview, right? And that's when yeah. Philly... I didn't know, know who Gilly, Walla, what, Gilly and Walla was that's until that's the... Um, my problem with Philly. Million Dollar with the game. I couldn't come to Philly. What they was going to do. So Gilly the King, or whatever the nigga name is, he jumped in my inbox and said, Is there a problem, Goofy? I'll be in Dallas, and when I see you, I'm going to slap you. And my response was, nigga, you ain't never slapped a nigga who will kill you. Damn. So we've been going back and forward. So he hopped in your but, DM. Now he hopped in my DM. Okay. Remember, I screenshot it and sent it to yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, you did. I remember. So when his son, when his son got, uh, I remember being on live when the news broke that day, and and, and one of my. One of my partners, who I consider a partner, Kareem Blitz, out of New York, got on my live, and he was chastening Gilly, 
Saying this is what you get. You promote these lyrics. You promote this energy. As a matter of fact, Gilly, when you had King Von and Dirk on y'all podcast and they start singing the songs about smoking Tuka, y'all were dancing to it. Y'all were dancing to it. When Pooh Shiesty called home from prison and they were talking big dog talk, they wasn't rebuking that shit. When Jay Prince was on there making threats, they didn't check Jay Prince. So, nigga, y'all promote this detrimental shit. So, her I come, nigga. From day one, I've been against it. If your kid die playing gangster, I will laugh. If me and you get into it and your kid die in a car accident, I laugh. If your kid fall out the car and get run over by a truck, I laugh if I don't like you. If me and you get into it and your baby get molested, I make mockery of your baby getting molested. So fuck your baby, nigga. I don't like you or your kids. I'm that kind of nigga. It's no different than the gang banger nigga when they ride through our neighborhoods and shoot these guns. <laughs> knowing that there's kids in the neighborhood. That's crazy. It's no different when Kobe Bryant got in his helicopter and they said, hey, Kobe, it's not safe for us to fly. And Kobe said, fly anyway and put everybody's life in jeopardy. He didn't, he didn't consider those other people. Nigga, I don't need them sometime. Am I wrong? I want to be wrong sometime when a nigga fucking with me. When a nigga fucking with me, I want to be as wrong as possible. So, nigga, I want to be wrong. Gilly's son and fuck Gilly. But this is how this came about. Damn, stay cheap for this on, I showed on, that on nigga big platform. Passion, my nigga, when his son got killed. You did, you did. I openly showed compassion. And people were trying to say cheese, me. too. On say cheese. Yeah, I showed compassion. I, I poured my heart out for the man because I put myself in his shoes. Now, I did this openly in front of everybody. Somebody wrote a book, an author, the author of my book. I got a children's book out called Every Neighborhood Needs a Mr. Charleston. Mr. Gaines wrote the book. Mr. Gaines is a former elected official out of Detroit. Out of, I mean, out of Michigan. He used to be a commissioner in Michigan. So he's wrote several books. So... He's a fan of Wallow and Gillies. He's a fan of Charleston White. So by him being a fan of Charleston White and Wallow, he was hoping that he could promote the book to, to Gilly and Wallow and them. So, you know, I, I openly showed compassion, homie. So the dude promoting the book, Mr. Gaines, uh, man, Gilly, Gilly, you know, he got disrespectful. You know, why you from working with this dude? Uh, he's a rat. He's a snitch. He ain't never been nothing in his 20s. And I'm saying, nigga, uh, is that how y'all celebrity niggas look at us? Because y'all became celebrities and, and we were single dads or raising our children while you were writing rap lyrics on the road. Nigga, we was at home raising our kids, making right choices where I don't have to snitch. See, I ain't been no criminal, homie. I wasn't no criminal in my 20s. I wasn't no criminal in my 30s. I've never, I, I've never been an adult criminal. So, nigga, so, uh, I said, well, damn, this how this nigga really feel? Even if we had these feelings in the beginning, homie, when your son died, I went out my way and chastised a friend and told my friend, nah, homie, you wrong. Nigga, you gonna Dang. do this? So, nigga, uh, I take my compassion back. Yo, son. Nigga, as a... We back. As a matter of fact, I hope the killers are forgiven by God and live a long life of redemption with not losing sleep. I ain't lost one sleep, nigga, over my victim. I've never lost sleep over our victim. So I pray that his fellows, nigga, live a long life of redemption and don't lose one ounce of sleep over cheese. I think cheese got what he deserved, nigga. Like every gangster who died in the streets, they get what they deserve. Like every gangster go to jail, nigga, they get what they deserve. So who crying for a gangster nigga who got killed? 
who feel bad because we making mockery of a gangster who got killed. Ain't this what we do in the black community? We did it with FBG Duck. We did it with Tuka. We did it with King Vaughn. We did it with Nipsey. We did it with Tupac. We did it with Biggie. What make this boy so special when we can't joke about his death? And who made up the rules that you can't talk about dead people? Show me where you can't work. Show me where you ain't supposed to talk about the dead. And then show me where karma is real. Where karma go get you for talking about the dead. I'm still waiting for white people to get their karma for slavery. Slavery lasted 400 years. How long we been out of slavery? And white folks still ain't It's going to come. It's happening what about now. the police officer who was rehired for Tamir Rice? He ain't got his karma. It's coming. They got hell. It's so hell. I don't believe in karma. It's and hell. I think you can make Because after you die, head. it's heaven and hell. It's happen to you. Facts. After you die, it's heaven and hell. Now. They get their karma. I do want to talk heaven about the karma I remember thing that. because you called your son on live. And. And a lot of people are, 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 are speaking about, you know, you're giving now you're you're letting energy into your son's life. Now, now people are wishing and they know you got a son. So they want something to bad happen to your son. So it could be a ha ha this and that. Well, why is YMW Millie still alive? If, I, if, if energy and karma is real, then let me see. Do you get energy and karma for words or for actions? Actions. Actions or words? Actions. Come on now. My son don't rap gangster. My son is not a criminal. My son is not a popular, well-known rapper walking around with jewelry. My son is unrecognizable to the world. What energy going to come for him? Because his dad said, hey, let me tease this nigga who can't call this song. So if karma and energy is real, what about all the good karma that I'm supposed to get for working with the kids? Why don't nobody ever say, hey, man, you got some good energy coming. You never hear people say that. You never hear people say, hey, you've been taking care of kids for so long. You got some great karma coming. You never hear people say that. So I don't believe karma or energy. Because if energy is, is really real, when do white people get theirs for their hateful energy? All the Karens, all the women who done accused niggas of wrongfully raping them, when do they get theirs? Hell, heaven to hell. It's heaven to hell. If karma and energy is really real. It's heaven to hell. Why don't people ever say this for doing good? Why is karma always associated with bad? You do get good karma. Why? That's why you so alive. I don't believe in none of that shit, my nigga. I believe you reaping what you sow. You don't reap in what you say. Because if you really reap energy and karma in what you say, we all be in trouble for the things we say in relationships. We'll all be in trouble for the thing we say to our baby mamas and our baby daddies. We'll all be in trouble for the things we say in the car when we get cut off in road rage. If karma and energy is really real. So I don't believe none of that. I don't think nothing going to happen to my son. So what was Gilly's son karma? What did he do in life? What did Tamir Rice, Trayvon Martin, what, was, what karma got them where they at? And when do George Zimmerman get his karma? Think about this. George Zimmerman sold the Skittles. In the gun. And George Zimmerman got a lawsuit out against Trayvon Martin and mom and daddy. When do he get his karma? When do the Catholic priests get their karma for all the molestation that they did? When do the child sex traffickers get their karma? Bruh, believe it. They get their karma, bro. When do the politicians bro. They been, get their karma? They gonna get that karma, man. That's Why is karma only for... Poor people. That God's going to choose. you never heard rich people talk about karma. They get that karma. You don't know, you know if they're going inside. The you don't know if they're going, going inside the niggas. They get that karma. karma. Believe it. That's a poor person's concept. And by the way, that's a Buddhist belief. Let, let me ask you this, though. 
because I, I've seen you get into it with a lot of people. But don't you feel like sometimes, well, everybody you get into it with, do you always got to go below the belt? Yeah. Why? I, I go to below the belt with my wife. If me and my brother argue, nigga, ah, right, that's why your daddy don't come see you, nigga. That's why your grandma on your daddy's side died. I go, listen, I go to below the belt with anybody I have an altercation with. Because, nigga, when the gloves are off, the gloves are off. Who fight with limitations? Who put restrictions on on fight? Well, man, you... No, nah, homie, when we into it, nothing is off limits. Even if you my woman. Yeah, that's why your daddy tried to f*** when you was a kid. That's why your daddy would molest you when your sister. Ho got me f***ed up. Now, I'm a mean motherfucker when we argue. You better not, man, no, nah, I'm a mean motherfucker. So, no, so let me be. Because you already know what kind of mouth I got. So, let me be. Now, I mean, multiple people said you're banned from Philly. You I say mean, I'm banned from Philly? Well, they they said that five years ago. And when I went to Philly, I sold out. It ain't everywhere they say I'm banned from. But, nigga, I ain't never been to Philly other than going to do a comedy show in uh, Atlantic City, New Jersey. I don't have a big fan base in Philly. I go where my fans are. I wouldn't go to Utah. I ain't, I ain't shit in Utah for me. I'm a Southern guy. Philly is more segregated than the South. Philly Philly conditions, if you stay for three days, is depressing conditions. Very depressing. Uh, it's like The Walking Dead, and that's outside of Kingston. I rode through there. Oh, you're talking, about, Ken, you're talking about Kensington? Yeah, Kensington. So it's, it's not a vibrant place. I'm a vibrant nigga. I like strip club. Philly ain't got no motherfucking strip club. They got a few of them. Nigga, they ain't got like what we know. It, it ain't like ecstasy and shit like that, nah. That's what I'm saying. So, so to come from the south in such a in, in a metropolitan area like Dallas, Fort Worth, to go to Philly, you wouldn't want to stay long because just the visual environment, just the the, the visual of how the environment looks, homie. It looks gloomy. The buildings are old. And I'm saying, I'm saying this when I was there. How can anybody thrive here? Look at these conditions. How can it look at the kids, homie? And 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 the violence. The violence amongst the youth is unlike no other. So if that's the case, then the future for Philly doesn't look bright. Because the children are 100% of the future. So when you look at the condition that these children are born and grow up in, you look at the lack of resources in these conditions, you look at the despair. Homie, who's going to be, who's going to thrive out of those conditions? Who's going to make it out of those conditions? So the city don't put back into the infrastructures. When you look at the grassroots organizations, they're not getting a lot of funding for after school. Homie, I studied that shit. Remember, I was going to go back and do trash pickup. Remember, I was going to partner with Allen Iverson, Big Reed, to come do community work there. So I started studying the conditions. Wallow and Gilly trying to go do prison reform. While uplifting gangster codes, rules, and ethics on a podcast in the light. So I'm saying, homie, who got compassion for a nigga whose son got playing gangster, talking gangster, and the daddy still acting gangster? Who got compassion when y'all didn't have no compassion for Miss Dominique, Tuka's mother? So, man, that nigga and anybody who mad about what I'm saying my tune ain't changed I've been saying F dead rapper nigga kids I said F Nipsey Hussle I said F King Von 
Drake, yo, the ruler, Slim 400. I've been saying f these niggas. Yeah, he, I ain't got be half. He half. He half. He half. He half. He and he I'm been gonna saying say that. Some more. He been saying that. Gillis, I'm gonna say f some more dead kids, nigga. I said f the kids at the Uvalde school shooting. Nigga, I said f them kids at Sandy Hook school shooting. F them white kids, f them Mexican kids, nigga. Them ain't our babies. And he ain't no baby. That's a grown nigga got killed in the streets, nigga. Kill about no grown nigga getting killed in the streets. I care about babies dying. You don't think the power of the tongue is real, though? No. Because if the power of the tongue is real, all that shit my mama been talking about prosperity and, and, and multiplying, and she ain't got no rewards, and she been paying tithes and all. No, hell no. What you talking about? You hell no, that tongue. It don't help you. The tongue ain't real. Why a nigga can't talk his way to no money then? Nigga be, nigga, I'm, I'm for the hit, boy. I'm, I'm just my year. Niggas have, nigga, nigga, niggas can. can't talk his way to no money. They can. The power of the tongue is real. Yes, it is. Nigga, the power of tongue is real. How you think you in that position? Your mama was praying over your life. The people was praying over your life. How you think niggas get into the position? Because they speak into this. You got to talk to somebody to, to even get to the, the point. Nigga, you can move in the mountains with your, just your words and your mind. Your power of your tongue is, is, is important. You know what I'm saying? That's all I want to know. Why nigga can't talk his way into success? You can. The power of the tongue is real. You can. You can. You know what I'm saying? So I don't believe in none of that. I believe in you reap what you sow in actions, not you get back what you say. Because you say a lot of shit. People say a lot of shit they don't mean and they don't do. But nigga, I mean every goddamn thing I say. I mean people, everything I say because I think about the things I say. What do people around you say? Like your mom or maybe Dewberry or there's people in your circle. Do they agree with everything you do? Like, is there somebody in your circle that's like, Charleston, you taking it too far, my nigga? No. Hell no. Is, is that because you don't allow people in your circle that don't agree with you? Like, you like people that agree with everything you do? Or they just, y'all all think alike? Oh, uh, we all think alike. My mother, my mother don't watch social media at all. So she don't know what I say. But she didn't heard me say... Somebody did. Kids say, son, I'm not supposed to say that. She say what you say. Some, I say, mama, if that's true, then why your ties ain't multiplying? If that's true, so I say, mama, that's y'all belief. Maybe it's multiplying their health. Everything don't got to be money, though. Man, my mama done caught coronavirus seven times. <laughs> Yo, shut the fuck <laughs> Then my mama done had the COVID-19 seven times, and she got the vaccine. Shut the fuck up, bro. Nigga, I don't... Who want to multiply in health? Don't nobody want to multiply in health the way we eat. We want money. Nigga don't want to be healthy, bro. Nigga rather be unhealthy rich. So, no, nigga, listen. All that fairy tale, Bible, religious, Quran, Buddhist, Torah talk. Homie, listen. The people who live against that shit live longer and better. The people who sin and break rules, don't wash their hands, don't use condoms, sleep with random people, they live a vibrant, healthy motherfucking life. But you know, in the Bible, it says you, you, you got to spread your seed, you know what I'm saying? The Bible is the only thing that's real. Muslim, Buddhism, Judaism, I, none of that's real. The only one that's real is the Bible. That stuff is real, you know what I'm saying? It, that stuff can happen in real life. Yahweh's God is real. With no problems and issues. Say what you want to say. Do what you want to do. But homie, I've said worse. Nigga, I wish R-A-P-E on A-S-I-A-N babies. I done said worse. I made a whole song talking about K-I-L a white man, R-A-P-E a white woman, and uh. White baby in the head. I made oh, a song. Oh, uh, yeah, we got to bleep this out, man. <laughs> you said so now, homie. So I've said worse. Matter of fact, I just lost my Instagram account. They took my Instagram for promoting sex trafficking. Because I said I'm looking for 
They took my Instagram for that. It says sex, promoting sex trafficking. I've said worse. But nigga, when you look at my actions in life, you can't never hear nobody say what I've done. It's always what he said. So I stand on the fact that actions speak louder than words. I can come online in my character form and say, F all the dead people I want, just like the rappers, and cut the phone off and go work in the community and act like I ain't said nothing. Just like the rappers. Yeah, no man. I mean, every like I said, every event on Easter Sunday, would, I mean, especially at my house, you, you were the topic of discussion. Um, every phone call, you know, have you spoke to Charleston? Is he going to apologize? No, he... I'm not going to apologize. I hope, I hope I made his whole family cry with these words. I don't care about hurting no nigga feelings. Don't give a damn about that, my nigga. If we get into it, my nigga, it's on. It's on. How'd you get those text messages that you shared, though? The, the promoter sent it to I mean, the, the guy that y'all were partnering with, he sent it to you? He my business partner. Why wouldn't he send it to me? Especially when my nigga done seen me show compassion for him. Why wouldn't my nigga send it to me? And I, I went publicly, nigga. I stood out before the world. And I went against a friend. I stood out before the world and I went against a friend, somebody I respect and admire, and said, nah, homie, you're wrong. Let the man make it. I defended him. So why would my nigga come back and share this with me and he saw me do this? Some people say, well, he don't want to upset a friend. I'm the kind of friend, go be mad if you don't upset me, nigga. I don't, no, nigga, no. This ain't me and my... Now, this ain't got this me and my, this this me and another nigga. So if my partner, my friend, my business, yeah, nigga, let me know what this whole ass nigga done said. Hmm. When you read that, I mean, what was that? Was you was you was you hurt? Was you angry? Was you disappointed? Did you feel um like what, when you read that Gilly when he said all that? Oh, I thought to myself. <laughs> You should have made fun of his son the day he died, nigga. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should have you should have made fun of him that day. That's what you get for showing compassion. I was taught, and I believe, that only the strong can show compassion for the weak. So I was strong, homie, in, in showing him some compassion. And uh, I regretted it. Yeah, yeah, I regretted it. That's why I got so ugly. Yeah, yeah, I was disappointed in myself. Yeah, I should have been mean from the get-go when the son... I should have been mean the time he died. It was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why I went in so hard. Yeah, the, the I was pop disappointed in myself for giving that whole ass nigga some compassion when that bitch ass nigga didn't deserve it. Yeah, the, the Pop Hunter shit was fucked up because he was a kid at the time. But then it's like now, if you pay attention, it's a lot of rappers who ratted afterwards and got away with it. And still cool, still getting big interviews, still getting that limelight. But Pop Hunter as a kid, after that came out, everybody shut him off. I mean, what, 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 what they fail to realize is uh, because of what because of that situation, homie, this kid went to the verge of, of almost suicide. Yep. Let, come on, homie. They pushed this man. This kid was at the height of of of, of his rap career. Talking, had um, won the biggest song with Uzi Vert, Lil Uzi yep, Vert. Corvette, Corvette. Gilly then was the one put that um, paperwork Dallas. out because he was Pop Hunter popping, and he and he wasn't a street kid. And they was trying to shame him for talking gangster. Put the paperwork out, and Cheese was supposed to blow up. Gilly and them did that. So when I didn't know nothing about none of this, I just know the whole rap community was shaming this kid, Pop Hunter. I done my first interview with you talking about it. That's what made Gilly threaten me. And nigga threatened me, homie. That nigga threatened to call me bodily harm because I done an interview. Why wouldn't I diss this kid? 
when I showed compassion and mercy for him, even after he threatened me, talked to me like like he'll slap me. Nigga, I'll shoot you in your face, nigga. Nigga, you slap me, you'll get wallow shot too. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the mental hospital, homie, and, and say, "Hey, y'all said I was homicidal and suicidal by ideation and preparation. These niggas playing with me. These niggas playing with me. They threatening me. I'm responding to threats. I, I ain't threatening nobody. I didn't wake up and say, "Hey, Gilly, no, nah, he he d- disrespecting me. I didn't wake up looking for trouble. I showed compassion, even after he threatened me." I let it go. So, nigga, I got every right to do what I'm doing. I keep telling y'all I'm willing to die and go to jail for the things that come out of my mouth. I'm willing to die, kill, and go to jail for this shit I'm saying. Nigga, you don't think I know this shit dangerous? How long y'all been saying I'm going to get how long y'all been saying I'm banned? How many the long, the how power in the power of the tongue. It's been five years now. Nigga hit me sleep in the barbershop, nigga. Power I'm the, out on two felony that's bonds. That's the power man. of the tongue, nigga. I'm, I'm out on two felony bonds for that. Nigga, you can't do nothing to me and I not respond. That's the power of the I'm tongue. I'm out on two felony bonds for that barbershop incident. Why? I mean, did you chase him or some shit? Oh, uh, I'm out on two felony bonds, nigga. Mm. So if you do something to me, I'm going to do something, nigga. I'm out on two felony bonds. Damn, that shit crazy. All right, back. So damn, man. Charles the White went off. I ain't gonna cap. Disrespect. Straight disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was saying, I, I seen one comment, they was trying to say, oh, Gilly didn't say he was um Muslim. Well, he had a whole Muslim funeral for Say Cheese. So I was there with Muslim. I don't believe in Muslim. That stuff is fake. Judaism, I don't believe in that stuff. Um, Buddhism, I don't believe it. Now, that's why I can say some of the stuff in that stuff, it probably did happen on some real stuff. But a lot of it is not real, you know what I'm saying? The only one that's real is, is the Bible, you know what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? God is real, Yahweh is real, you know what I'm saying? Um, That stuff really did happen, you feel what I'm saying? And I feel like that's the closest way you can get to God in heaven. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh. That's the closest That's the closest we can get to, like, you know what I'm saying? Speaking to him and really get to know some stuff that really happened. Yeah. All the other stuff didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the people who was on who, who was in that stuff, it probably was some, some people that was that, you know what I'm saying? But how it was told to me, you know what I'm saying? God shouldn't do this. And it didn't happen like that. It's not, it's, you know what I'm saying? That's, that stuff not real. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying? When you blessed and chosen by God, you know what I'm saying? You don't know the truth. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like, man, Gilly, yeah, Gilly did break up a tree, man. You know, I don't know what it is with Gilly, man. You know, I don't know if he just, like, that's how it is, man. You know, you get that, like I said, man, you get that sense of power. You get, you start getting a little bit of power, money on. And influence, you know, you start acting crazy, you know, you feel like you can almost say anything. But then people will respond, you know what I'm saying? And think about Charles White, man. Charles White not finna he ain't finna back down and um stop um what he gotta say for, for nothing. You know what I'm saying? He gonna say what he, he gonna say some of the dirtiest shit, you know what I'm saying, to the people. So you can respond or you just let that nigga talk what he wanna talk, you know, at the end of the day, man, it is gonna be like, well, you, he gonna call twelve on you or you know what I'm saying? Just mind your fucking business. Say what you got to say. Mind your fucking business. Or if y'all meet in public, hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, man, Gilly, man, he fucked up. With the, um, with, I don't know how everybody started finding find out it was a sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? But it, but you got to understand, man, what, like, well, who cries that hard and heavy over $100 million? And they just broke it down so good and shit, man. It's like, man, I understand me niggas work that hard, but niggas, you gotta understand once you get into that type of territory where you get a hundred million dollar contract, nigga, 
so much shit gotta happen for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers are not just giving out money on just to give out like that. You feel what I'm saying? I guess it's like a hundred million dollars for Ciroc or some shit. And, you know, a lot of times, people been saying it. People been saying this, you know what I'm saying? When they in, um, when they in, you feel me? When they, like, a lot of people been saying this. When they in that type of shit, man, you might have to give up some of your family members. You know what I'm saying? And that's just it, wow. You know, that's why a lot of people, you don't want to be in that type of situation because, you know what I'm saying? All this stuff have a chance, is a, is a reaction. You know what I'm saying? God, Yahweh, he see all of this stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, he, he talks about it, like, so what happened to them people? They don't get no karma. J just believe, they get their karma. You don't know if they're, if they're spiritually inward. They might be getting materialistic shit. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying, materialistic world. But that don't mean when they get out, when they, when they, when they done, that they gonna be okay. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, so you wanna live for a hundred years or how long you live with some materialistic shit, and then when you die, you're gonna be in that shit for, and you're gonna be in hell for eternity. Or you can have a, a rough life, and when you done, shit, you know what I'm saying? You go to heaven. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, just because they they look like they winning don't mean they winning. You feel what I'm saying? We all, we just see that, oh, okay, so they can rape kids, and they can do this and that, and they can, um, go bad but then it always happened to us the black people when we do some shit we, we get our karma instantly you know sometimes it, it's like that you know what i'm saying like you understand a lot of niggas do be broke a lot of niggas do be in, in situations where they put themselves in the line of, 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 of you know what i'm saying attack these motherfuckers these motherfuckers like these disneyland motherfuckers who raping these kids nigga they not they not out here all around where people can look at them and touch them. The only reason they can, they people find out because people snitching. These niggas not going, these motherfuckers, people not going around all in public, you know what I'm saying, where they can get easily taken out and and bam, blammed on, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of these motherfuckers have them got caught up. Look at the Jeffrey Epstein Islands list. Now all these other motherfuckers who getting caught up with the, with the, the with this shit. Yeah, the only reason they don't be, they, they don't be going to jail and shit, because you gotta understand, the world, the world is ran by evil. You got to understand that. You feel what I'm saying? And when we go to heaven, God, you know what I'm saying, going to show us the truth. You feel what I'm saying? Like, Yahweh, he going to stop all the stuff that's not supposed to happen in your life. You feel what I'm saying? That's what I'll be saying to some certain people, man. Some of these people, man, you know, you know, the devil already done lost. You feel what I'm saying? The devil done already lost. You know what I'm saying? The devil's weak. He already lost. You know what I'm saying? They try, the, the, they, the devil trying to trick people into like, oh, well, if I get all the materialistic shit and this and that, you, you you winning, but you really not. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, he lost. Then you lost. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, you never want to get jealous of the wicked because they winning, supposedly. Everybody got their time to win. You know what I'm saying? You always have that faith in Yahweh because at the end of the day, we want eternal, eternal winning. We don't want eternal damnation. You know what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? God is all powerful. He can do anything he want. You feel what I'm saying? So sometimes the people who who chosen by God, you know what I'm saying, go through a rougher life than niggas who not. Because they life is not is not 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 important. You know what I'm saying? They already chose what they got going. They they done down. You know what I'm saying? Niggas who go through the hard times of living, you know what I'm saying, chosen, yes. I'm, we do gotta go through a harder life than motherfuckers who 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 um who's working for the motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Who's the, you know what I'm saying against who working with the evil and shit. You you feel you feel what I'm saying? But you know, if you read the Bible, it always have certain people. Y'all always have certain people. They choose 
I sometimes it do be materialistic when he choose them, they can win with materialistic. But a lot of times it's, they go through struggle, man, and, and, and it takes a, a, a whole a whole lot of time. And, and and God do judge um his people and 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 and, and uh, you know what I'm saying? And, and uh, you know, parents like they they not parenting, they they whoop him. He do do his people harder than he do the regular motherfuckers who don't have nothing to do with it because he loves us. That's why we go through so much pain and agony. And when we do some certain shit, we get our karma right back quick because he loves us. He want if he didn't love us, he want he want he want discipline us. You know what I'm saying? And so we gotta become smarter and not fall for the traps. You feel what I'm saying? And so look at David. David was a kid, young. He was a shepherd. Had a hard life. Became a whole king. And then he did something wrong. And God disciplined him. He took his kid away. So it's like, you know, it's always stuff. That, but the kid wasn't even born. He was like inside his stomach. So it's like, you know, we always get disciplined. You know what I'm saying? And situations can't happen. You feel what I'm saying? If if they don't discipline you, you know what I'm saying? And you don't go through nothing. You know what I'm saying? You got to be looking at that. Because God only sent... The battles to the strongest warriors. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end, they got we got we got to understand that just because they don't go through nothing, don't mean they good. Don't mean they 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 bless the chosen. That, that, that just mean because hey, whatever they do is what it is. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end, they man, people do got people do get do get um judged. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, when we all die, we we all gonna get judged. You know what I'm saying? Crip. So at the end, of the day, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. This is a crazy video, man. We got um for them to get this this damn crazy over. That is wild, you know. But you know, at the end of the day, man, we gotta become better people. You feel what I'm saying? And to lead the young kids into the right path of winning. Yes, what he, what Charleston White was saying is right, you know, about the um I don't know other rappers was just saying smoking on Tuka and smoking this. So how does it feel when I'm saying smoking your son? Yeah, it like yeah, it goes around, goes around, comes around. If he if he on popular, some shit about them smoking on this dude, this dude, this innocent kid, and then your kid get taken out, and you was main some of the main people who promote the be smoking on Tuka. Yeah, it's gonna come around and shit. You know what I'm saying? And you know we we just all gotta learn from our mistakes and learn to get better. You know what I'm saying? And and, and focus on the positive, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, we do gotta protect ourselves, you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody's gonna be no bitch, you know what I'm saying? We always gotta protect ourselves, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, we always gotta have faith in Yahweh, you know what I'm saying? And the Bible is real, you know what I'm saying? And and Yeshua did die for our sins, man, so we all gonna get judged, we all gonna get our karma at the end, you know what I'm saying? Whether good or bad karma. He might not be getting it right now, but shit. Who knows? They could be having bad dreams. They could be like that nigga. Uh, what's that nigga? That that real famous actor who was white. He used to do all them damn um kid shows. And he killed himself. You never know what these niggas are going through. Just because they got they look like they got the world with them, just don't mean they they living life uh, amazing. Who knows what they need to get to that position? So I think they may hope y'all enjoy these videos and learn the truth, man. Out the bitch hood and outside crib. <laughs> Hey, Dad, you know that when we link up, that this shit be legendary. You know this is instrumental, you the engineer on it, so. Hold that camera.